now live from Palin Music Studios in Springfield, Missouri, it's Wake Up With Greg. Here's your host, Greg. Hey, 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 good morning everyone and welcome to Wake Up With Greg. I am your host, Greg Rosander with Palin Music Center and it's another beautiful day here on this fine Wednesday morning here in Springfield, Missouri. I am really happy to be here hanging out with you guys and sharing some fun and laughter and, and all those good things that we do. Um, for those of you who are new to the show, I'm here every weekday morning at 8.30 a.m. Central Time to share with you the coolest instruments on the internet. And today is no exception. I've got some really cool horns and one of them you've never seen on this show before, I promise. The other two, I will say they are repeats, but it's been a while since you've seen them and if you've never seen the show, it's all brand new to you, so congratulations and welcome to the show. <laughs> so um, yes, that's the reason I'm here. I'm here to show you the coolest instruments that are available for you to purchase right now on our website at palinmusic.com or by giving me a call at 417-882-7006 and we can chat about it and talk and have some fun. So in addition to the horns, the other reason I'm here is to share life with y'all, just to have some fun, share some things I'm interested in that I think you might be interested in, share quirks, you know, I love to share music with you. I share some, uh, you know, wisdom, not necessarily my wisdom, but there's a lot of wisdom out there to be found. And so I like to share that with you as well, talking about music. And uh, I apologize for my, my itchy nose, man. My allergies are killing me this morning. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I apologize for that. So bear with me. We'll get through it. I promise. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. That's why we're here. We're going to have some fun today for sure. It's Wednesday. I've got, uh, you know, a little hint of pink on. If you know, you know. Um, but uh, let's, uh, let's talk about all of the, you know, the business stuff that we need you to do here. Um, we've, there's lots of buttons, you know, or social media. You got to punch and poke all these different things. So the like button, that's number one. Hit the like button, especially if you like the show, you know, just it helps us out, helps us to be able to provide more and better content for you. And then once you hit that like button, then, hey, share it with your friends, right? Hit the like, the share button, share it with everybody you know. And, uh, you know, friends, family, relatives, co-workers, you name it, they're out there. Just share it with them. And then finally, hit the subscribe button. We are at uh, about 1125, somewhere around there. I don't know, 11 in, we're in the 1120s uh, subscription rate. And we're cruising. We're, uh, we're needing to get a few more. We're on episode 43 today, I think. Next Friday, not this coming Friday, but the following Friday will be episode... 50 and we would love to be at 2,000 subscribers by that episode give us something big to celebrate here and then uh, immediately following that episode on Saturday April 27th will be our cars and guitars event at our Springfield uh, headquarters flagship store Palin Music Center right here in Springfield Missouri so if you're out and about on Saturday and you've got a cool car or, or if you just love cool cars and cool guitars Come on by the shop. We'll be uh, having, there's, I mean, there's going to be food trucks and live music and just all kinds of crazy stuff. Plus, I'm going to be there doing a special live stream uh, with my buddy Nate. And we'll be showing off some cars and guitars and just a whole bunch of cool, fun stuff. So stay tuned for that. Put that on your calendar because we'll be live streaming it. And then, of course, if you're in town, come on by. We'd love to see you. So, um, yeah, I think that's all the things, you know, uh, there, I think there's a bell icon you can hit on here to get notifications about all the stuff we've got coming up. So you don't want to miss any of the fun, right? Of course. All right. Well, that's all the business stuff out of the way. You now know who I am, why I'm here and what we're doing. Let's get into it, shall we? We'll dive into some really cool instruments. But first, let's say a fine good morning to my good buddy, Jordan. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, Greg. Oh, there he is. I thought maybe he'd like <laughs> fell asleep over there. The mic there. was I'm, off. <laughs> his mic was <laughs> off. I, you know, I put him to sleep. I, we, I sing lullabies <laughs> to him because, you know, he's, he's a high energy kid. We got to keep him awake. All right. Yeah. Mmm. Hawaiian coffee. Hawaiian coffee. We're in there, baby. Man, Hawaiian coffee goes good with your shirt today. Oh, does it? 
Is this a well, Hawaiian shirt? I don't know. Are there flamingos in Hawaii? I don't know. There might be flamingos in Hawaii. There's flamingos in uh, Florida, I think. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, nevertheless, <laughs> why don't you tell us about your shirt <laughs> and watch? I'll tell you about the shirt and watch. So this shirt is uh, Caribbean is the brand or the Caribbean or something or Caribbean, depending upon how you folks like to say it out there. I think both are acceptable, but I don't know. People who are from that area of the world, tell us the proper way to say it, will you? Is it Caribbean? Is it Caribbean? Is it something completely different? We don't know. But we got flamingos on here. Yeah, we got our pink flamingos. All oh, man, my nose. I apologize, folks. Um, I gotta get a tissue here. I don't wanna be running all over the place. Allergy season, man. This has been one of the worst on record for me. All right, so that's the shirt. And then the watch, forgive me guys, I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, the watch. This is a very special day because I have a new watch to show for you. And this, John, if you're out there watching, my dear friend John, he came and visited, a regular viewer on the show, he came to visit yesterday and bought a new trumpet. He bought that New York Bach Strad that I showed a few days ago. Um, absolutely loves it, but he had this watch that he just thought I would love, and I absolutely do. So let me, uh, there he is. John's there. Love you, brother. Thank you so much again for this precious gift. This is, I don't know if it's going to be upside down. I'll try to show it there. This is a Citizen Echo Drive World Timer Chronograph Atomic Solar Powered uh, Everything. This is a massive watch extremely cool it's got all kinds of bells and it's got stopwatches in there and it's got timers and you can see what time it is anywhere in the world i mean if you want to know what it's like in tokyo or what it's like in uh, I, I don't know sydney australia that you can do that just you hit a button and it, bzz, it takes you right to that time it's so cool and i've never had a chronograph before so i'm just super excited john thank you so much you're a true friend a blessed brother i love you and I hope you're loving that horn today, my friend. Uh, hey, Swedish Fish is back today. Good to see you, brother. Welcome back. Um, so, yeah, that's the shirt. That's the watch. It's an exciting day, guys. We're having some fun. So, with all of that out of the... Oh, I think we're, there was one more thing that I needed you to do. What is the one other thing I needed you to do? Mm. I missed something. I don't know. Oh, the chat! That's what I need you to do. I need you to chat. We've got the live stream chat going on right here. So you can question, you, uh, submit your questions, you can comment, and I can see what you're saying, and I will call you out, and I will talk with you and share uh, what's going on here. And But most importantly, tell me where you're watching from. Are you watching from Minnesota? Are you watching from Texas? Are you watching from... Saskatchewan. I don't know where you might be in the world, but we've got world uh, international viewers on here now, so we're going worldwide, folks. We're having a blast. So let me know where you're watching from, and let's uh, let's chat. Let's have some fancy dancy white gloves on here because we don't want to get these horns all fingerprinty now, do we? Mm -hmm. Nope, we do not. All right, there we go. All right, so this is a cool horn. This was uh, this is a recent acquisition here. This is. Actually a used horn, but I mean, used is a relative term. This horn doesn't look like it's ever been played. Uh, we took this on trade recently, um, but uh, let me show you. First of all, it's, it's, just, it's a little bitty guy. <laughs> Traditional style wood shell case, um, kind of a tweed covering with the uh, brown trim, brass hardware. This is a Phaeton, that's right, Phaeton pocket trumpet. Have you ever seen such a thing? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Well, check it out, guys. Bam! What in the world is that? Yes. That's what that is. This is a pocket trumpet. So, Greg, tell me what a pocket trumpet is. Okay, I'll tell you. This is a standard B-flat trumpet. This has the same amount of tubing and size, length, everything of a traditional B-flat trumpet but it's just been kind of folded in on itself to make it compact. So you can see like the tuning slide for, well, not the third tuning slide, but the third valve slide here, it's, it's like, I'm gonna like a loop-de-doo in there. So we've got, it's all bent up. And then the tuning slide, we've got double bends there. 
bends just everywhere, to really tighten this horn up and make it extremely portable. Um, the weight is about the same as a traditional trumpet as well. I mean, we've got a four and seven eighths inch bell. We've got a medium large bore, bright silver plating. Um, we've got heavy machined uh, metal top finger buttons as well as top and bottom valve caps that are a heavy weight. So, I mean, this is a stout horn, guys. This is just really, really powerful. And uh, because of the, you know, all of the compactness of it, it's going to have a bit more resistance to it. So if you like a, a horn that has that resistance, that kind of, that blowback feel, um, then this is definitely a horn for you. This is a great horn for fun. It's a great horn for practice. You know, if you need to fit it in your luggage or something and you, you, you want to take it around the world with your travels, but you still want to be able to practice in your hotel rooms or whatever. But I mean, you can perform out in the world with this. It's got all the presence and power and resonance of a standard trumpet. So it's just cute. It's just cute and compact. And uh, this is just super cool. So um, this is going to be live on our website later today. You might not find it first thing this morning because we just got this yesterday. Uh, haven't gotten photographs of it yet. So as soon as we get those photos, we will get this up and on the website live so you can take it home today. But if you don't see it, but you know you're watching the show and you want this horn, you can still give me a call at 417-882-7006. Or, like I said, find it later in the day on palinmusic.com. This is the Phaeton, and it's the model PH for Phaeton, uh, TP for trumpet pocket or pocket trumpet. Uh, 3030 is the model number. T PH TP 3030. Uh oh, what did I do here? I got the valve all jammed up. I'll fix that. Anyway, so uh, very cool horn, guys. Come and check this out. You've not seen one of these on my show before. This is a pocket trumpet, and it is fun. Swedish Fish, you're heading off to school. Well, study hard, you know, get an A, do all that good stuff. All right, welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, that's, not, that's horn number one. Ta-da! So check it out, y'all. It's super cool. Yeah. Oh, it even comes with some cool, let me show you these. It comes with a fancy blanket, little Phaeton polish cloth there, so you can keep it all nice and shiny and cute. And then it's got, uh, oh, it's got like a, oh, a bag. You can put it in a bag there. You got a Phaeton bag. So yeah, I mean, some fun little accessories in there as well. Cool beans, right? Cool beans. Cool well, beans I'm dating indeed. myself with that one, right? All right. So that's the pocket trumpet. Come on and get it, boys and girls. Whatever your pronouns are out there. Pronouns. Pro pronouns. I can't even talk today. I don't know what's going on. My flamingos are all over the place. They're in Hawaii and Florida. My gloves. My, my gloves are anti-fingerprinty. We're having fun, guys, aren't we? That's let's how we get like more, to do it. Let's get some here. more coffee. What was that, Jordan? So it's like that's how we like to do it around here. Thumbs up, indeed. All right, what's next? Uh, well, do you have some music to share with us today? I do. I have some really fun music today. Um, this is a group that I have recently fallen in love with, and they're a pretty new group, I think. Um, let me see if I can find out when this particular... Well, this album came out in 2015, so we're coming up on uh, maybe 10 years for this album. Um, but uh, the group... I'll, I'll just jump right in. The name of the group is Organ Freeman. Now, not Morgan Freeman, the actor, but Organ Freeman, the instrument. You know, the organ. And they are, how would you describe where, where they are in the musical uh, pantheon? We, uh, I would call them funk. Funk jazz, maybe a bit of jam band-ish. Guys, if that offends you, I apologize. Um, music doesn't need to be, you know, pigeonholed into, into one particular style or not. Let's just call it great music. Let's do that. Um, so certainly jazz influence, um, R&B, blues influence. Um, but here's the group. The group is called Organ Freeman. I know we got a... Kind of cute little album cover there with some monkey and lion faces and whatever. Uh, but the song in particular, this song is called Verve. Yes, Verve. 
Can you say it with me? Verve. It is a really amazing song. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm choking on myself here. Oh my God. Mm. You just wanted an excuse for more coffee. That's probably That's true. Yeah, it, it was completely fake, guys. You know, it's just just to drink more coffee. All right. So, Morgan Freeman verb. If you have a sound system in your car or in your uh, house or wherever that has really good bass response, this song is going to kick you through the roof. It's just. It's got really powerful. Just rich, uh, thick bass organ sound. It's it's organ, guys, so it's keyboards. Uh, but man, it is so fantastic. And it just, it's got a really just killer driving groove and it's a really kind of cool thing that does at the end where it kind of builds and speeds up and, and does some things. So, uh, man, it's, Swedish Fish has heard of this song. So, hey, you know, Everybody knows, right? So you need to uh, be sure to listen to this, download it. It's on Spotify. I'm sure it's on other streaming services as well. So here it is one more time. Take a look at that. Organ Freeman, and the song is called Verve. Check them out. You're going to love it. The whole album is great. There's tons of other great songs on there. Uh, all original music. I don't think they do any cover. Uh, they might do some covers. I don't know. Let's see. Let me just hit the uh, hit the ground runner and I'll take a look. Uh, nope. At least no songs on there that I recognize as being a cover song. So, all right. Yeah, it is good. Swedish Fish, I agree with you 150,000%. All right. So that's the music for today. Let's jump into horn number two, shall we? And hey, those of you who are out there watching, as Swedish Fish mentioned, he's familiar with this group. He's heard it. But if you have ever listened to any of the other musical suggestions I've made, I mean, there have been 43 of them now, so somebody's got to be listening to at least one of these songs that I've told you about. At least I hopes you are. I hopes. I hope. I hopes you are. <laughs> We're here in the Ozarks, folks. We talk a little funny. All right. Um, this is a horn I know you've seen before because it's one of my personal favorites, but that doesn't diminish it at all because this is a killer horn. I really want someone to get this horn and put it in your life and play it and perform with it and share your music through this horn to the world because, man, it is so great. We're showing baby instruments today, boys. Isn't it cute? You know what I'm talking about when I pull out a case like this, right? You know, you know what this is. This is a Ramponi and Kazani. Yeah, it's Italian, folks. Viva Italia, right? I think that's how it's it. I don't know. 100% handmade in Italy by world-class artisans that make the best instruments in the world. 200-year-old company, been doing it by hand for all that time, and this horn is no exception. This is the R1 Jazz Curved Soprano Saxophone. Fully curved, so it looks like a baby saxophone, but this is not a baby in sound or performance. This is Top of the line, guys. So R1 Jazz. What do we have here, folks? We've got a professional curved soprano saxophone. It has a red brass body. Okay, so red brass, it gives a bit more copper into the mix of the brass, which adds warmth and color to the tone. And then we have this beautiful, natural silver plating, which is, uh, you know, it's not a high polish, not a high gloss. It has that kind of vintagey feel to it. Uh, but it's an all-natural finish, no additional lacquer or anything on there. Um, and this has everything you want, high F sharp, front F, adjustable keys, uh, the bell. It's the, the wide bore, uh, the Ramponi wide bore on this. Um, being that it's unlacquered, it frees up the harmonics, so you just get really rich, powerful tone out of it. Uh, mother of pearl key touches on this. 
It comes in a variety of finishes. You can get it in raw brass. You can get it in uh, the silver with gold. Um, lots of different options for you on there. All gold plated, which is just stunning. Um, but this is one piece of metal, folks, from the neck to the bell. Well, okay. It's one piece, but it's cut into, you know, three, because you've got to have the bow, which is formed separately from the bell and the body, but it's all continuous, all right? Uh, fixed neck, the neck does not remove, so that makes it a lot easier. You don't have to worry about losing a small neck. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the Ramponi Kazani R1. Check out the beautiful, I don't know if you can see it well. I'm gonna get that as close as I can. Beautiful hand engraving done in the old world traditional style. And it's just gorgeous, guys. This is, I'm in love with this horn personally. I don't know if you can tell that already, but uh, I would take it home with myself today if I could. But uh, I got a little smudgy on there. I wanna make sure I get that smudgy off. Don't know what that, why that's there, but look at that. Check this out on our website right now at palinmusic.com or give me a call, 417-882-7006. And uh, yeah, you guys need this one in your life. I'll be happy to ship it to you today, along with some autographed gloves. How about that? That doesn't seem to be an incentive yet. Nobody's taken me up on that offer. Uh, maybe I gotta start throwing in some other things, right? Everybody loves free stuff. You gotta pay to play though, boys and girls. I keep saying just boys. I don't wanna leave the girls out. There are some amazing, many amazing saxophone players that are female out there. I've known several, they are awesome. So uh, yeah, check out Gabby Rose if you don't know uh, female sax players. Check out uh, Mindy Abair, check out Candy Dolfer, check out uh, uh, Cece Warall. Uh, I mean, I can go on and on and on. There's a whole bunch of them out there, so. All right, that's horn number two. We're two down, one to go. I've shared some music. I'm gonna take my white gloves off because I got one other fun thing to share with you. Yeah, and it looks very cool. It looks very cool. <laughs> well, it's cool to me. I hope you guys think it's cool. It's quirky, but uh, I thought, you know, we've got cars and guitars coming up. Uh, I'm not a rich man by any means, so I don't have like a whole bunch of really cool real cars, but I have a whole bunch of really cool little cars. And I thought I would just share quickly three kind of uh, highlight pieces from my collection, my Hot Wheel collection, if you will, which you should because that's what they are. Um, but they're pretty special, so uh, I'll share them with you. Check them out. First up on my list is this guy here, and I'll take it out of the box so you can see it. Right there. Whoa, look at that. What is a prototype? Yes, prototype meaning this one wasn't ever for sale as you see it, but this is one that was you know, done as a design study. This is a prototype of the Cadill or Gas Hog Cadillac that was actually a McDonald's Happy Meal car uh, back in the 90s, I think, and found this at a uh, Hot Wheel Collector's Convention and absolutely love it. It's just super cool. See you later, Swedish Fish. Be good in school, will you? Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Um, so yeah, it's got the chrome interior. We've got, it's numbered on the bottom for you know what number in the prototype line it was. Super rare, super cool. Cadillac Gas Hog from McDonald's Happy Meal. All right, it's car number one. Car number two, this is the most recent acquisition to my collection. Look at that, Ferrari, baby. This is a Ferrari Enzo, and this is from, this is an FAO Schwartz Toy Store exclusive. Look at that. How cool is that, right? The back opens up, you can see the engine in there. Woo! Yeah, this, is a, this has been a holy grail piece for me, guys. I've been looking for this for years. Finally got one I could afford. Very awesome yellow Ferrari Enzo. And then finally, one of my favorite pieces of all time is this one right here. This is the Gangster Grin, and this is a Mattel Association, or a Mattel Employee Association. Mattel is the manufacturer of Hot Wheels. Mattel Employee Association dinner dance car that they give to the employees only, so there's only a few hundred of these known in the world. I am not a Mattel employee, but I got this from one. 
uh, in a trade. And one of my favorite cars of all time, I'm not going to open the case on this one because this one's a little hard to open. But yeah, isn't that cool? Gold with the snowflake kind of flame pattern on there. That's the gangster grin, guys, and it's my one of my favorite Hot Wheels of all time. Three highlights from my collection. Just something cool to share for all you Hot Wheel fans out there. Uh, I know there's a lot of musicians who are also Hot Wheel collectors, so it goes. Cars and guitars, right? Cars and saxophones, cars and trumpets. It all works. Come on, guys. Let's have some fun, shall we? So that's my cool item for the day. Some three pieces for my collection. I just wanted to share. I hope you like it. Thank you for hanging out with me today. All right. So, more coffee. Mm-hmm. And we got one more horn for you. Um, this one, I don't think it'll get fingerprinty if I don't put my gloves on, but I'm going to put them on anyway because that's what I do. Want to keep these as nice for you as I can. Uh, we're jumping ship from the uh, woodwinds over to that, well, back to brass, I guess, because we did do a trumpet. We are talking about... Is it on there? Look at that. Have you seen that before? Butler carbon fiber trombones. You say, what? Carbon fiber trombones? Get out of town. Well, we're in town, folks, and we're doing this. I don't want that case to fall over. There we go. Look at that. So why carbon fiber? What do we got going on here? This is a handmade carbon fiber bell Modern technology meets old world craftsmanship. Uh, this is the Butler Lemon Drop. Why Lemon Drop? Well, Lemon Drop, it's named after, or it's patterned after, uh, Frank Rossellino. He was a popular trombonist uh, in the uh, 60s, 70s, 80s, around there. Um, and he was famous for a song that he played called Lemon Drop. Uh, so this is kind of patterned after his trombone, which was a Con 6H. Uh, so this is a jazzer's horn for sure. Uh, this is a 500 bore, uh, small bore uh, trombone. Let me get the slide out of here as well, because you want to see that. Um, let's see if I can get that. Here we go. And I'll assemble this for you here in just a second so you can see the whole package. Carbon fiber outer slide with the, uh, if I can get that. Come on, guys. Ugh, it's on there tight, isn't it? What do we got going on here? I can't get the slide lock to move. There we go. All right. Well, maybe. Ugh. All right. We're going to leave that. We're going to leave that lock for now. I can't do it with my gloves on. But uh, when this horn is assembled, if I do it right, let's put that together there. Uh, all of the uh, appointments where you need metal to connect these are all nickel silver. Um, they are unadorned with lacquer, so they're just raw, raw metal, uh, but they're beautiful. And so there we go. There's the fully assembled Butler Lemon Drop Trombone. It's got the Speedy Flow water key on the bottom crook there. We have a uh, carbon fiber tuning slide. This horn, guys, this thing only weighs one and a half pounds fully assembled. So if you're tired of lugging around a heavy horn, this is the horn for you. I mean, it's as light as you can get. It's super well balanced. It's beautiful. Uh, the bell is detachable. Um, so you can you know, trade out bells if you want to do that. It does come with uh, uh, alternate lead pipes as well, which are also carbon fiber on the inside there. Um, shiny on the inside, you know, bright polished on the inside matte finish on the outside. This is the Butler Professional. Hey, Pietro Zinchiri, I hope I said that right. Uh, welcome to the show. Where are you watching from? Uh, good trombone. Yes, indeed it is. You guys need to check this one out on our website right now at palinmusic.com or by giving us a call at 417-882-7006 and uh, yeah, you can take this home with you today. I've got a few other butlers in stock as well. We've got the JJ, and then we've got the C10. Um, and then we've got a base coming, a C12 base. What am I got going on here? Oh, <laughs> I was twisting it backwards. That's the problem. All right, there we go. Let's take this back apart so we can put it away. 
That is the Butler Lemon Drop, guys. Top-notch professional grade. So, I mean, what does the carbon fiber do for you that the brass can't? It, it just takes away the weight. It, you get all of the resonance, all of the power, all of the sound of your brass trombones in a lightweight package that, man, they just sound amazing. They really do. Uh, trust me, these are nothing like, I'm sure maybe you've seen the, uh, the P-bones out there, which are just a plastic trombone. Uh, this is not that. Don't even think that those are in the same category. This is a top-notch, high-grade, professional, handmade trombone made from carbon fiber. You guys should check it out. It is fantastic. All right, so that's horn number three. Uh, I don't know is back. Uh, <laughs> I look like your school's assistant principal. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult, but... We'll take it as it is. Thanks for watching the show. Um, all right, so that's horn number three. We've got all the horns out of the way. Um, I don't play the trombone. I'm a saxophone player, but I, uh, I do know a bit about these. I've been selling them for a very, very long time. Been in this industry a very long time. I'm a legend, guys. Come on, you should know that by now. All right, done with the gloves. Let's wrap this up a little bit. Chris is here joining us. Bro almost looks like Tom Hanks. That's one I haven't heard before. Tom's got way more hair than I do. Mmm. All right. Pietro plays the trombone. Well, that's awesome. What do you play? You got a particular brand or model that you play? Are you bass trombone, jazz trombone, concert, classical? What do you do? Uh, I'd love to know. Oh, you said almost. Well, okay, yeah. All right. I almost look like Tom Hanks. I'll take it. Tom Hanks is a great guy. Love him. One of my favorite actors of all time. I'll take that one. Usually I get the Paul Giamatti thing, but you know, we'll go with Tom Hanks. <laughs> all right, so we're having fun, guys. That's the cool stuff. That's the horns. What's left, Jordan? Do you have some wisdom or a quote to share with us I today? do. Uh, wisdom and quote. Chris played the trombone in high school. Uh, is, that, is that the hang loose sign there, I think? Yeah. Well, that, I think that's also called the Chaka. My little brother's nickname is Chaka. Um, all right, yes, let's share a quote with you. This is a quote uh, that I found from an amazing uh, gentleman by the name of Yip. <laughs> yep, it's Yip. Yip Harburg. For those of you who know who he is, he's an American popular song lyricist and librettist. Yes, that means writing music for operas and whatnot. Um, but he is best well-known, most well-known, for some of his songs. Uh, he wrote the lyrics to Brother, Can You Spare a Dime? Uh, April in Paris, made famous by the Count Basie Orchestra. Uh, it's only a paper moon. But most famously, he wrote the lyrics to all of the songs in the movie The Wizard of Oz, including Over the Rainbow. You can't get much more famous than Over the Rainbow, right? So Yip Harburg is the gentleman's name. And this is what Yip says. I love saying Yip. It's a lot of fun. This is what he says about... Uh, music. Words make you think. Music makes you feel. A song makes you feel a thought. That's deep. That's deep. Think about it. Words make you think. Music makes you feel. A song makes you feel a thought. There's your thought for the day, guys. Soak it in. Ruminate on it, think about it, get out there and share some music. Petro's listening to some Benny Goodman and Louis Armstrong. I can't fault you for that. Benny's my boy. Absolutely love it. All right, tenor trombone and bass trombone. Awesome. Well, check out our website, Pietro. We've got some killer horns for you, and I'd love to ship one to you today. And where did you say you're watching from? Are you, uh, where in the world are you, my friend? Uh, let's see, I don't see where you've got that listed. Chris uh, Bonham or Pert? Oh, well, Pert, come on. It's got to be Pert. Karen Carpenter beat out John Bonham. Come on, let's go. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should look it up because it's true. All right, that's it, guys. That's all I got for you today. Uh, I'm so thankful for all you guys chiming in on the show. Um, I'll be back here tomorrow morning at 8.30 Central Time right here on our Palin Music YouTube channel. So check us out. But before I go, think about this. Helping people make meaningful music is what we do. And when you're ready, I'm here for you too. Thanks for watching, guys.
Have a good day. Bye-bye.